Living Water City is a party sixth. And the title is The Millennial Kingdom, where the consciousness of the world of truth and life rules. Now, many people, they have heard about the Millennial Kingdom, and they might have a lot of questions to the Millennial Kingdom. So through today's methods, we can get to know uh, what the Millennial Kingdom is. So as I say in the title, the Millennial Kingdom is the place where the consciousness of the world of truth and life rules. Said you did can kayano in fishia pima hini no ne fa kuwa no kre asempa a in kwa in hunu munu ediso. Let us read Ezekiel chapter forty seven verse one to five. Ezekiel chapter forty seven verse one to five. The man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple towards the east, for the temple faced east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the other side, outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was flowing from the south side. As the man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and then led me through water that was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand cubits that led me through water that was knee deep, measure of another thousand and led me through the water that was up to the waist. He measured, he measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in, a river that no one could cross. Amen. Amen. So let's pray and let's start today's message. Yeah, mom. Bye. Thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, for giving us this a great opportunity. Uh, to listen to your the heavenly secret. That was a hum hum crum crum. So am I a quenya is a yen fenty or slow a intercept. But through this method, the bride who have to be adorned by the Holy Spirit uh, must have the clear uh, their identity, and they should become the overcomer so that they can enter the millennial kingdom as the ruler. And nam and now semi no soon tea. Are you from a yes, 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 obenya yes, yes, no yes, 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 Thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, with what will the bride who enter the millennial kingdom as a victor reign in God's world? The brides will rule with the spirit of wisdom and revelation of Jesus Christ. Then, what is the spirit of the wisdom and revelation of Jesus Christ? It is the Holy Spirit. The millennial kingdom is where the Son rules the Father's kingdom with the Holy Spirit. The bride of Jesus Christ become one body with Jesus and give birth to the glory of the Son. At the time of the end, the church will give birth to a son 
a male child as its fruit and become one body with Jesus in the millennial kingdom and receive the authority of an iron filter. Ewe ye mre ni mono, asafono ebe wo oba beni, nasa oba beni na oba be wono no, oba be ye ahin e wo anfin siapim ahin ni yinu imu. The record in the Bible are parable. En chro tu wa oma chro wa baibu no mono eye e futu sema nasa bibu sem. The woman gave birth to a son, a male child. Oba no e wo oba beni. Here, a son, a married child, is not about gender. Ehano, abofra a oye obabeni no, enye obabeni a eye asemno. In the Bible, a man represents the head of the body, the mind. Bible ni mono, onipa e jinahoma, onipa e ti, anase e tire. Please look at me. Monshe me. If I am raising my hand and lowering my hand like this, I'm doing this because my brain has already sent a command signal to my body. So when the head, the mind dies, it is like the body is dead as well. When the brain no longer gives a command to the body, the body cannot move. Medically, we call this brain death. The reason Jesus Christ came as a man is that Jesus is the husband of the church, the head, the mind of the body of the church. So the church must unite and form one body with the head of Jesus Christ, that is the mind of Jesus, and give birth to a testimony finally. If the church is united with the gospel of truth, not with a different gospel, it will bear the fruit, the pure fruit of a Christ through the living seed that is in the truth. Se asore no, etu minya no kre asem pano, eka ebomu, na se wunya asem pafo frono a, sa enti asia na se sa adansi diye no, ebe timi abe ye no kre kron kron wo kristo mu. God sees this fruit as the final testimony of the church. But the problem is, in God's perspective view, there are so many brides, there are so many churches where the head is not Jesus Christ. There is no the testimony of Jesus Christ. And even if one is united with the gospel of truth, one may love another gospel at the same time. Na se obin so ade no kre asem pano, ene no kre asem pano e bo moun pa, o sain e do asem pa fo fro e de kan hon. In the Bible, it is said that in the last days, believers will have many teachers according to their own interests because of their itching ears. Wa Bible no mono, wa ma ka ato ho se, e wye ye mre no e jidi fwo be bre, be nya a chire chire fwo pi, e san ni ya, o man ka sa e ni je hon ni ni ya, o mo pese o mo ti e ninti. If there is a lot of testimony of others, they will bear mixed fruit 
instead of pure fruit before God. Nasa Adan si die bebre efra fle mwa. Amu beti me aso aba. Aba e ya aba sronko a enye no kware aba no. So for this reason, God sees the fruit of the church as the final testimony and let the church that bears the testimony God want enter as a victor and reign in God's kingdom. E yinti o nyanku po hon asore no aba ne se e ye adan si die a e wo o chamle mu wo asole fi ho na adan si die no a wo nyanku po hon e de ma inku ni mu die no e no na e bede di wo nyanku po hon ahini ni mu Although you have started with the testimony of God if you end with another testimony you cannot bear the pure fruit what God wants the woman say, "E bi a wod do nyang kupong a dance di e ni di e." Nanso se wan do a dance di e ya dance di e krojena. What to mean so a bakrojena? The testimony here is the teaching of the Holy Spirit, the testimony of the pure church, and the testimony of the pure believers. Hano a dance di e no e jira homa, hong kron kron no e chire chire, a sole kron kron a dance di e. Any edi edidi fuono adan sidi. The testimony of the church, the testimony that is in the heart of the believers, must be very pure and clean. Inti adan sidi a ewo asorinim, adan sidi a ewo akumemu, a ewo edidi fuoni muno ewo se eyadi eya kroje. The word, the church says, the testimony that is in the church and the believers. Is the final testimony that God sees. And simfwa a ewa anasin simfwa a asafono eka eye adan sidi a ewa asolini mu na ejidi fuonso adan sidi a echatu anonso ye adan sidi a ye nyankopon enu ne nyankopon eche. Let us read the First Peter chapter two verse two. First Peter chapter two verse two, like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk. So that by it you may go up in your salvation. Amen. Amen. The reason the church at the time of the end can rule with the authority of an iron scepter in God's kingdom is that the church finally gave birth to the spirit of wisdom and revelation of Jesus Christ through the marriage with the gospel of truth of Jesus, the cornerstone. Ni enti a asafu a e wo e wye ye mre imu. E be ti mi di tu mi diye. E di wo nyanko pon a hiniye ni mu. E ni tu mi a ni abofra a o be wono wo hon hon ni mu. A wo di poma e ye da diye poma be di wo nyanko pon a hiniye ni mu no. A je se omu ti mi ware nyame asem kro je. E ye Yesu Kristo hon adan si diye no. So the church, that is the bride, will rule God's word with the spirit of wisdom and revelation of Jesus Christ. That is the Holy Spirit of truth. Asore no a eye aye frono, omu di nyansa eni e di ye hon homo, ebe di o nyanko po ahini ye nimo, enoni e weye krano e ye hon kron kron adan si di ye no. For in the end of time, in the church, there must be the work of the Holy Spirit. There must be the testimony of the Holy Spirit. The testimony should not be mixed with the human's testimony. Let us read the Revelation chapter 12, verse 3 to 5. Revelation chapter 12, verse 3 to 5. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. He still swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he might devour a child the moment it was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who we hold all the nations with an iron scepter, and our child was snatched up to God and to his throne. Amen. Amen. The first man, Adam, and Eve is one body. 
Obelima a odi kan Adam ni Eve no no mu nyina ye di padua baako. Adam symbolizing the image of a man ruled Eden with a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Adam ejira homa honhoma eye onipa honhom a onyankopon edima ni se ondi edi ntro no so. The woman became Adam's helper and ruled God's world together as a one body. Oba no ebeye Adam ebuafo na obebua no ma omudi edi ntro no mu. The church, the body of Christ, the symbolizing a woman, form one body with the mind of Christ and rule God's word as a Jesus helper. Asare no, eni Christo ni pediano ebe ye bako, na omu nina bebo mo eye ashedi ye bako ye ni pedia bako, na omu timi di Christo ahini ye ni muso. This was the rule of God's kingdom that we can learn from the first coming of Christ. E yini o nyankopo ahini yenu mu enshi seye, sedye baya yebe timi edi ahini yenu mu tise, niya o di kainu. We are living in the age of the second coming. E mla ye womu ye mla e ye maya e tusu miyenu. In other words, we are living in end times. No kwa infu frasu no, ye wo e wye ye mre mu. The end of time is when another gospel comes as a fourth husband, and adultery and immorality with the fourth husband are overflowing in the church. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about the church. So now, only when the church living in this age of a harvest shows the fruit, that is the testimony the church has as evidence that they married Jesus as a one body to God, the church can enter the kingdom with the authority of the iron scepter. Se asafo no otwa bre no eni no eye sa bre mu ni ebe hu adanse die kru di e wo asoli ni mu na no na ebe ma ye hu kristo ni ni padua baako a eni onyankopon inkuto ebo mu eye ni padua baako sa omo de dade poma ebe nya tumi die wo aheni ni mu so what is the evidence that they married the Jesus as a one body to God enti e die ne ahyenso de a e kire se the Holy Spirit is saying that it is the testimony the church has. That is why I overly teach and emphasize the importance of the pure gospel. The spiritual state of the church in the present age is much, much more miserable, contaminated, and dangerous than you might think. So to a certain extent, we have to follow the Holy Spirit to the point of feeling really foolish. People do not throw away what they have, although they say they are following the Holy Spirit. There will never be a time when a humanistic ministry that is good to see and hear is as dangerous as it is now. Ribie ni wa omu beti me hun, o ni pa hun sum jumane se e yadie biya, enye ne mom ofa omu fani nina e jiran wa se, e yadie a e womu en prim prim. That is why the church must seek and follow the wisdom and revelation of the Holy Spirit to the point of foolishness. Enu inti na, Esese asole no eshe she, 
Mwon kron kron no enyan sa eni edi ye. Eko si se ebe yan kwa si asem ama wom. But how did you seek and how did you ask about the wisdom and the revelation of the Holy Spirit? E kwa mbe ya na wuti mi shishe. Na wutu mi nyan nyan sa ae wo hon kron kron ni mwon. Are you still praying for the earthly thing? How much do you regard the testimony of the Holy Spirit is important? Have you ever cried because of lacking God's testimony in our church? Have you ever asking to God, please leave it? The true gospel to our church. That could be a home power bomb, Paya Cachera Radice, or Mania Mia Sam Paco Geno and Daddy Wawasolimu. Or are you just satisfied to listen to a good lecture coming out from the human knowledge? And now, dear, and Chirachira, a free Unipa Enyan Semu Bano, and Nuna would dear when Nija home, Anna. I repeat one more again. That is why, church. Must seek and follow the wisdom and revelation of the Holy Spirit to the point of foolishness. We shared the interpretation of the measuring of 1,000 cubits of the water that is flowing out of the temple. Na ochi bi enu a etwemuni yesuan bi bi afa ensusuye a omo susu ewo ebasafa a oha ensusuye no hu Today we are going to look at it from the perspective of the portion of rain given to the bride who will reign with Christ with the consciousness and mind of Christ in God's millennial kingdom Enesan semno ye behwemu afa Ahinye ni fa a wadebe ma a yifrono. Kristo a jene eni hun hun mu dibia. A wadebe ma infinsia pim ahinye no. In the passage verses, a measurement of 1,000 cubit is made when the water reaches the anchor. And another 1,000 cubit is measured when it reaches the knee. Wa in chile chile a hulu munu. Wa susu basafa o ha. Ah, bre a ususu sa o ha e dunu in sionu e besi ni na ya ase. Na o san susu basafa o ha biem na in sionu e bedru ni kutuji. And when the water reaches the waft, another measurement of a thousand cubit is made. Na bra in sioni du ni sisi e chino omo san e susu basafa a pim biem. A thousand cubit. Here represent that the church can enter the millennial kingdom after passing through the measurement of God. Basafa apim a omu besusu ewa asoli numu e jinahoma se ubetimi ako infisya pim ahinye numu abri a u nyankupon e susu wamu e wiyenu. Beside the measuring is made three times in total. Enuda edi echirei, esan se in susu ya omu susu ninyina omu kambum. After the water is measured at waist deep, it is not measured anymore. Se wo susu in suonu eko si, yesisi echi wia omu susu biu. It is not there God's wisdom and ways are not enough to measure the liver anymore. Enyese o nyankopon in susu ye in kwano, in no su se on to me in susu esubonti ni biyem. Here, the number three, a spiritually symbolized certainty. Ehano, number three, ewa hun hun munu e jina homa, eno kura hun hun mufem. God tested Abraham by asking him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. O nyanko ponso Abraham shei na okachira ni se onfane bakrono emo aforie e ye Isaac. Abraham passed the test. Abraham cha insohye no emu. 
When God saw Abraham pass the test, God did not say, Oh, Abraham does well on the test. I will send him a bigger test to see if he loves me more. Ebria when Yankupon who said Abraham echa in Soheno. Wan ka se o Abraham. Mesa asowa we be na me who se ube timi a ye ye ana. When Abraham offered his only son Isaac, God clearly knew Abraham's heart. Ebrea Abraham edene bakro Isaac ba for Riano. Na when Yankupon enim Abraham akuma mupifi. So God no longer measured Abraham but blessed him. Your seed will greatly increase in number. Amen. Anunti o nyankopon. En susu Abraham biem ne momu wa shurano. Na wakase wa sefo bedrosu aye kesie. The waft here symbolizes the life forth uh, by which the church gets filled with the truth so that it can spread the seed of truth and become fruitful and multiply. Sisiachi awahano ejina. Biaya a eye o nyan kopon enu mo nyam ne sadia ubeti mi akosu edi ye. Let us read the Genesis chapter twenty two verse seventeen and eighteen. Genesis chapter twenty two verse seventeen to eighteen. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the star in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will have will take possession of the city of their enemies. And though, and to your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Amen. Amen. Let us read Genesis chapter 35, verse 11. Genesis chapter 35, verse 11. And God said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and increase in number. A nation, a nation, a nation, and a community of nations will come from you, and king will come from your body. Amen. Amen. When believers enter the millennial kingdom, each one will reign having their own portion of reign. Se e jidi fo e she in fin shi api ma hini yinu mwa. O bibi ala bedi ni hini e wo. Ni ankasa na hini ye che famu. Those who are to reign have each one's own portion. Wamu a wamu bedi hino. Wamu wo wamu ankasa e che fa. Noah's Ark, which we are familiar with, symbolizes the believers at the time of the end, who will be led to the new heavens and new earth, that is, the millennial kingdom. Noah's Ark, na yenina yenim se, yenina yate hon sem penu, e jina homa, e jidi fo a e wo e wye ye mre yimu, a omo beko osro fofro, asa se fofro, a e ko infi shiapim a hini yenimu in sanctuary. Noah's Ark is built with upper, middle, and lower deck. Noah Adakano will see Eddie Esro and Finfin any Anna Anase Asie. Not every believer enter God's millennial kingdom with the same portion of rain. And yet, Ojidi ni Biarano, Otimira, Ahini Enim Fakro, Awa Tibia, ah, said you, Ubia Bedi Hinewa. God test each one according to their own portion. Unyankopong aso ubiahwe ennam chafa a ubinyan so. After passing the test, each one enjoys their own portion in the kingdom. Se wuti midi in sohanisun kunimwa ubiya edi ni chafano so ahini. However, God does not use our entire life journey as a tool for testing. Nansu o nyanko pon e mfa yen asetina akwen tu onu e nyina e nye e ensoja e mfa maye. If a person is recognized as certain by God, God no longer test him in his life. Se ubi wa wa o nyanko pon e nimu nwa, nyame mfa na bla bwa na ni te biya e nsone nshe. The if the gate of the temple Symbolize the head of the body of Christ. E poye femo e prono a e wo asori da inimono. E jira homa kristo ni ni pedriano. When the living water of truth flows from the head of Christ, the living water has a power. Se en kwensu yonu e timi e senia. E no chile se en kwensu yonu e wotumi. Earlier I said that the head of the church is the husband of the church. 
and the mind over Christ. Ye di kano wa kan se, eh, asori ni tinu e ye Christo, ne ye Christo nso adjini. So the head is the commander of the whole body. E nunti e tirenu ena e timi, e she ni peduyani nina. God's kingdom is a world ruled by the commandment of Christ and the mind of Christ. O nyanko po ahinie no, eye ahinie a eye Christo ni tine eye Christo na jenso. The same command and mind are given to the bride who have made Christ their head and have become one body with him and they rule God's world with the deep consciousness of Christ. Sa en sha krono ano de ma asafu no aye ye na ye frono na omu de na jene ene ni se se ene ye e juma. However, there are those who rule the world with the command authority equal to the measure of water up to their anchor. Na ye wa wamu an omu timi e di ahini ye nwa omu jina sa en sha nwa e ye en sha ye di e susu abe si omu nanyan se. And there are those who rule the world with the command authority of the measure of knee deep water. Na ye wa wa monsu a, a monsu e di hi e nam e nshen wa, ye di ma asafo no a e ye, ye susu in suome e du o mu kotu jeno. In other words, the portion of a person's rule depends on what command he is listening to from the Holy Spirit. Ne o kwa infu frobi suno, sa te bia anase chafan e ni pano e benyano, e numu ni en she a ye de emano. The brides do not receive the same authority unconditionally and rule. A ye frono omu nina omu nse she ye enye pepepe. Since they hear the command of the Holy Spirit and govern, the reign of God will be divided according to the authority of the command that the Holy Spirit gives to each bride. A son said, Omu tie in she a odima omu ninti, omu beti mi edi hini e wa niya hon hon kron krono edi she a yifrono. So that's why the more we grow spiritually, the deeper the command of the Holy Spirit gets. In ti se de ye nyi e wa hon hon mono, Sana in shahun hun kron kron ni de maye nun so eko so. So we must attentively listen to the command of the Holy Spirit on this earth. En nun ti e wase se hun hun kron kron no e se yen ya. Ye ti mi ya so ni ye ti ni ye wasa si so. Even little babies have a command in their brain. En kwa lan ki tu an po omu wo omu jim po e se wom. But the command coming from the brain of young babies are very instinctive and limited. Nanso, en sha a e fri e mofra en ketua a jiri mo bano e yadi e da fom. They are the command such as I need to eat because I am hungry. I feel very uncomfortable. I want to sleep. Omo di omo en sha a ni se, mi pese mi didi e komo de me, mi pese mi da, me pese me ye wei. Their brain signals are true to the basic instinct of their bodies. O ma a jene no e chira wa mo kwa a dia. E ye e tine ni a nase e ye no kre e ma o mu ni pedria. And the lifon of their bodies that comes out after the command can be expressed only by crying. Na o mo nse na ye debe ma o mo no. So mun sa en tu mi an kan e sun en o omo de tu aso. It is the same with the spiritual things. Sa en e ti e wa hun hun mo ni e me mo. When we live a life of faith, in what instruction and command do we continue to live? Se ba ye ba ye bla e wo jidi e e wa hun na mo an. En sha ba na ya na ye di tu an amo. Oh, I am uncomfortable because I do not have money. Oh, meni nyi e san se mi ni sika. My child did not pass the school entrance exam. Me bano o chura e zam se no we nin ku ni munti. Or I'm upset and worried because my husband business is not going well. Me hao e san se mi kru e juma en ko yi. So because of those such things, 
people come out before the Lord and cry and beg for those things. Isan san ye man kitin kitin ti. Ebinim tu milka ebe nyankopon enim ebe sun efa san ye manu. If only these kind of command come down from the consciousness of Christians, the level of Christ's consciousness in them is very low. Na se san diye en shewe ni timi bawa e kristo fo a dreamwa. Eni en na che se en she a omu di ma yeni ya diya e wo fom kura. In a daycare center, most children under the age of three cannot play together. They explore things alone and play alone. Se ye kwa e mo fla en kitu omu omu di be se infie mi en sa. Omu timi ni a gro e mom. This is because their consciousness has not yet expanded. However, their consciousness grows. As babies who only knew themselves grow up, they get to know other, other than themselves at home and in kindergarten. Become conscious of their relationship with others and understand the community. Se e mo fra e gusu e nyia. O ma jinu e ti mi nyini. No mo ti bi be nyini wa man te mo a o mo wo. Then the command signal of these children will also become much more diverse and mature. Ne no na e nshanwa e wa e mo fra ni mo no. E ti mi be nyini e mo mo nyini ye. Commands that were only faithful to their own basic instinct expand. Eti ensha e ya dia, eti mama omu, eti mi jina homo omu tu mi eko omu nim. They get to have command such as, I want to be approved by my parents. I want to have wretched friends. Omu tu mi nya ensha omu adu mu se, me pesa me ni ma wofo etina, me pesa me ni me nan fufo eko. It is the same with the consciousness of Christ in us. At first, we have the consciousness with which an individual called I serves God. This consciousness is like that of a little baby thinking only of its own needs. Sa a jene no eti se a bo fla ke tuwa, o jene fa ni ya u be di pe hon. The life of Christ in us exists as the consciousness of Christ. Christo a tseti na a e wo ye mo no, eti se Christo na jene. In other words, that life exists as thought and mind. O kwa infu fro so no, a e na jene no eti mi ba ye mo ti se a jene ye ni nyansa. This thought and mind are not the emotions of my flesh, but the life of God born when Jesus was crucified. And this consciousness of life is instinctively directed toward God. However, the self-consciousness in us is the enemy of God. Self-consciousness is the descendant of Adam, the first man who fell by eating the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Even if this ego says it serves God and turns to God, in the end, it does not abandon its own righteousness, but hold on to self-righteousness that disguises itself as God's righteousness. On to me and Sonia Mimu Nemum, or do you know Cassana Drinini Trimopone Yejuma? Let us read the matter, chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. 
Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Amen. Amen. Since the self-consciousness in humans was born separated from God, no matter what it does, it cannot understand itself in God. Esan se, wawu onipa adjene ewa onipa muni inti. Se yanka se adjene no entu mini onyankopon enyepe. Faith consciousness can meet God and serve God honestly outside of Him, but it cannot learn how to achieve true rest in God where it rests from its work. Ye anka se adjene intu mi in siya onyankopon. Na asum o nyankopon, na ansu obeti mini o nyankopon atina, na ontu mini o nyankopon entina en sumunu wano kwarimu. Faith consciousness ends by the sixth day. Yankasa ya jini munu ne wye ya ne bawo ne fuwa in siyemu. God told us to work hard for six days and rest on the seventh day. O nyankopon kachira yese yenye e jumadi nen siya. The giving of the Sabbath is a prophecy that the time will come when our body will truly rest in the body of God. However, faith consciousness work hard for six days, but on the seventh day, it does not reach the true rest in the body of God. Nansu yanka saya jinimono, eye juma wo nensiya, nensu eda eto sun sunu, on to me en jina humi e wo nyanko poni pedriyemu. It is because it was born as the fruit of a slave outside the body of God from the beginning. If we say, wa wo wo no akwa abamu, Adam and Eve's expulsion from paradise represent that they went out of the body of God. Adam ni Eve wa pamuomu free paradise e jina ho se wa free wa nyanko po ni pedri animu. Let us read the Hebrew chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 9 to 10. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For every, anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work, just as God did from his. Amen. Amen. We know the record of the people who work hard for God on earth and are driven out the door when God's kingdom comes. <laughs> God gave the son as a testimony. We all know God the Trinity. The son is one with the father in the Trinity. In other words, he is a being that is within the body of God. However, some Christians serve God according to the consciousness of their own self, the defendant of the first man Adam, who lives outside God's body. Nansu ebinumu sum o nyanko pon ewa omwan kasa omwa dreamu o nipa a o di kain Adam then they bear the fruit of a slave, become low-lived people, and cannot enter the kingdom of God. God's kingdom is a kingdom of the father and sons, not a kingdom of the father and slaves. 
O nyanko po ahinie ni ye e jane o ba ahinie. Ne mom e nye e jane akwa ahinie. The reason God came in the flesh and died in the flesh is to put us who were outside the body of God back into the body of God in the name of Christ. Nientia wo nyanko po e ba wo honamu na wo wu wo honamu no ene se Obema wo nyanko po ni pedwia e chino e be sign ako wo nyanko po ni pedwia ni mu biem e nam kristo di nunti Through the event of the cross we are given the name of Jesus Christ, and the consciousness of Jesus Christ is born as a new life in us. When we initially live a life of faith, we just think that our bodies have been saved through the cross. Sem fiti asieno, ye boye jidiye asetina ewo, jidiye mu a, ayana ye nimse, asenu yano eji yen eko, ni pedria a ye en kwamu. But in reality, the life of Christ has been newly created in me. Nanso, Christo na blabone ya bo ewo mimu. And when the life of Christ is newly created in us, the self-consciousness that has ruled us up to that time must be dead. Na se, wabok Christo asetina fufrono e wami mua. E se se, mi ama jin a edi kaino e ye mi an kasame hono. E se ina e wu. Satan constantly make us hold on to the statue of a slave through our self-consciousness so that we do not become kings in the kingdom again. Abon sam eko swa eme ye kura, oho ni a e ye, oho ni e ye, e ni yanka se ye ni pedu ya ni ho ni ni mo, se di ebe ya ye ntu mi nya a hi ni ye no. We must never hold on to a sense of guilt, because it is the disguised image of the fruit of slaves created by our self consciousness. Eni hu kwanse ye ma yanka se ya tinka, e na da anu e timi so ye mu e sanse, e ye na da obon samu e di si ye kwain. The moment we become conscious of a sin and shame it, condemnation has already come to us. E brea ye be ye boni hu a din, e si anu, e nu na ye hu o wu. It does not mean consciousness does not have power. Just because we cannot see this. Enon chile se ya juni munu e ni tu mi e san se ye mfa ye ni hu. Consciousness is a commander. Ye a juni no e ye en she. So when we are nurtured by the Holy Spirit and obey the Him, we can be protected from the power of the law through the power of the Holy Spirit. E ti se hun hun kron kron no e ti te yeng, na se ye ti ye no a, Ye betu me de hon hon kron kron ni tu mi abo ye hon bain na ye fri e mla tu mi no hon. Let us read Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. As Isaac, the son of Abraham, was mocked by Ishmael, the son of a slave, when the consciousness of Christ has not yet grown. The self consciousness in us continue to oppress and deceive the consciousness of Christ. Sise se di na Isaac, awa ye bo she banu, na akwa banu e, e ye tre tre no no. Akwa ye ti se ye huna mu e ni pa, a jini a e nyi ye e wo Christo mu. Since the nurturer of the consciousness of Christ in us is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit becomes our legal representative. Naya se ya jine ewo Christo muno, e nam hon kron kron ni sunti, hon kron kron no abe ye adia e jine mu e maye. When the consciousness of Christ in us suffers because of our self-consciousness, if we tell it to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will act as our legal representative and solve our difficulty. 
Se Kristo asetina a e wo ye imono, e hon a jinu e nyine a, e se se ye kosu e hon se, ye ye hon hon kron kron no. Let us read the chapter 21, verse 9 to 10. Genesis chapter 21, verse 9 to 10. But Sarah saw that the son whom Aga, the Egyptian, had brought to Abraham, was mocking. And she said to Abraham, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that slave woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. Amen. Amen. Solving the problem of the church is not the only purpose of the Holy Spirit church in nurturing. Say be ye or how I wa a sorry no more a free honor, and yahu hon kron krono and titi a potin. The Holy Spirit wants the consciousness of Christ in us to grow and defend and rule our self consciousness so that we always remain in the consciousness of Christ. And be sure that we are one with the Father. Hon kron kron no epe se, Christo in hunu muo no a ewo ye munu e di hini. Se di abe ya yang kasa ye batina se, ewo Christo in hunu muo, e bre a yang kasa ye yi ye hon e fri, e jano ni e ni e jane ye bako. God want the mind of the Son of God. There was in the words that Jesus testified during his public life to come to the believers as a commander, so that we too, like a Jesus, live a life in which we speak according to the word. Onyankopon pese, ne ma eni kristo e bomo e ye bakon e wo kristo a setine mo, se diye e jidi fwono en su e betume atina se, e wo hon hon kron kron e jumano. Let us read John chapter 17 verse 21. John chapter 17, verse 21, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Amen. Amen. And let us read the John chapter 17, verse 11. John chapter 17, verse 11. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. The name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. Amen. Amen. And let us read the John chapter 10, verse 30, and Colossians chapter 4, verse 28 to 31. John chapter 10, verse 30. I and the Father are one. Galatians chapter 4, verse 28 to 31. And you, brethren, like Isaac, are children of promise. But as that time he who was born, according to the flesh, persecuted him, who was born according to the Spirit. So it is now also. But what does the spirit, uh, Scripture says? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be an heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the a bondwoman, but of the free woman. Amen. Amen. Here, uh, he who was born according to the flesh, is the fallen self consciousness within us? Hania or woe no ewa huna muno, or your own one kasana juni in hunumu. This fallen self consciousness is called the old man in the Bible. Yang kasaya juni in huumuno, ye freno ewa Bible nimse ni padadano. And he who was born according to the spirit is the consciousness of Christ within us. Na niya ye wono enam hon kron kron ni mono, e ye kristo ne adjuni hono mo. The consciousness of Christ is called the new man in the Bible. Kristo na adjuni mono ye freno o ni pafo fro e wo baibu ni mo. If we enter God's kingdom with our faith consciousness mixed with the consciousness of Christ within us, we will not receive an inheritance from God. Se ye ra o nyanko po ahini enimo ewa yankasa, nyamena jinimu eni yensu ya jinimu a ye de afra, yen to mini kristo e ni na hini enimo. Since the seed of the old man is self, is the one who was born outside the body of God, this man has no choice but to be separated from God. E san se, e diaba a e free dadanu emuno a wa wo womono. 
on to mini o nyan koponi pediano en ye ba kunti. O kwanfu frobi ara en niwa o befasu efi o nyan kopon. Only the Holy Spirit can nurture the man of Christ, the consciousness of the life of Christ in us. Hon kron kron non kwan ube tu me atiti. Christo ni pano a owo ye mu. Christo asetina a ewo ya jini mu. Through the nurture of the Holy Spirit, the consciousness of a Christ within us gradually expands. E nam hon kron kron ente ti ya no sonu. Christo hon a jini a ewo ye emu no emu et siren kakran kakra. This is as a child knows only himself first and later comes to know others, form a community, and recognize himself as a member of a community. Sane ti wa abofra a edi kainu mu, infiti ansienu wa hun wa nuanka sane hun kuto, ansane wa be hun afofro, ansane wa be hun wa mua amu wa mantemu honu. As the consciousness of a Christ in us matures, we come to know that we are a part and a member of the one body of Christ, and understand the reign of God's kingdom given to the church. Brea Christo in Hunumono, Enyini Ewo Yemono, Ye Beunse Yeni Christo Eye Nipedia Bako wa Ofa Bakumo, Na Yewo O Nyanko Pong Ahinienu Aye Wa Osronimo. Furthermore, when this consciousness grow more, we also realize the value of a true God's love which enable us to sacrifice and give up ourselves for the sake of the whole, even not sparing our life for the sake of the church, the body of Christ. Ibiyo monsuno, sa inhunumu iya, ewe ye mu kesiye yi eti mi benyini wano kura mua, o nyanko pondo eni ni tu mi, ewa afori bodi ya e siwa ewa asafunu muno, while doing missionary work in Africa, I learned that African pastors are exceptionally fond of being called apostles. Brea oye asem petra u eduma ewa Africa no. Ube hunse Africa asofufu be bre eye sronko. The true apostles are those who died to themselves to establish the church. Apostle a waya osomfu, aye obi a obetumi aje nehu esiho. An apostle who does not realize the whole consciousness of Christ is only a fourth apostle. Se obi a ofre no hon osomfo anase aposo no. A on tu mi e hon kristo e nyina su wano. Oye onye aposo anase onye osomfo papa. Do not like to become an aposo carelessly. Men fa sa abodi ne ya aposo no en to wo hon keke. You might go up as a first aposo and be judged before God. Enu na oba ko jina nyami eni mse aposo wudi kane nyami bebu watin. Let us read the Colossians chapter 1 verse 24. Colossians chapter 1 verse 24. Now I rejoice in what was suffered for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regards to Christ, affliction, affliction for the sake of his body, which is the church. Amen. Amen. God called the Pharisees hypocrites. Because they commanded and taught people with their fallen self consciousness. Unyankupon efre falesi fwa ni se nyanchum fwa. If he say, woman kasa e chire chire e wo woman kasa woma jinimu. The only one who can sharpen and grow the consciousness of Christ in us is the Holy Spirit who guides and nurtures the church. Ubi enko ala a ube tu mi atiti ya un kron krono a ewe ye mu anase. Ube ti mi atiti a jen krono a ewe ye mu no. Eya un un kron kron pe. Remember, when people are taught by humans, they become hypocrite. Kai e yi, se onipa e chire chire yenya. Yeti mi bedani nyan chomfo. On the other hand, 
when they are taught by the Holy Spirit, they become rulers in God's kingdom. Okwain for Frosono, Sahon Kronkrono Echrachrawoma, Amo Bayesu Difuo. We think that we will enjoy the reward for the wrath of faith we learn on earth in heaven after you die. Yesu su se, ye benya a ketuya ewa ye jidye emini ketuo ya ye tu yimu, ewa asasi su se ye wu echi a. However, God has not designed it like that. Nansu wo nyanko po an si senisa. God allow the world on this earth to God's children who did not live according to their flesh and were led by the Holy Spirit to the point of hating themselves on earth. Unyankupo ma kwain, ema wanya aketia wa asasisu, ena mse omu nkasa epu wa mwa nase, omu tain wa mwunam, ewu nam huu nkrunkru ewa mwumu ninti. God rewards his children for their effort and races of faith on earth, not just in heaven, but also on earth. Unyankopon abo modin etuya, e jidi fo e ka e wo mrika omu tu wo asasisu, e wo jumadiyan omu ye ne momu e nye osrope. And God rewards them with reigning together in the world on earth, where Jesus reigned. Na wanyankupon abo wa mapasu anase wutia wa mka e wabrea. Omu ni krisu e kwa akwentu onu no omu di ahini yini mu. We should anticipate new earth at the same time we anticipate the new heaven. E sese ye shisha asase fufro anase. Ye shisha asase fufro hon kwain. Sa akrona ye shisha osuro fufro hon so kwain. The true inheritance of Christians is achieved at the time of the millennial kingdom. A Christopher and Casa Eja Padia are Yenyan in Fisia Pain Ahinino. The millennial kingdom is where heaven is reflected on earth. In Fisia Pain Ahinino, any Bia are or slow a dan in Wendy Ewasa Siso. For once we get to know the millennial kingdom, we will know heaven correctly. And when you see it, you know, and fish up in my Indian, you know, and you be who was thrown so. Let us read Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. At the renewal, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, joining the twelve tribes of Israel. Amen. Amen. Let us read Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Amen. Amen. The earth in the above verses refer to the actual inheritance and reign of God that is to be assigned at the time of the millennial kingdom. Asasinusu ea epie wo enke nkase ma yekan ye ni munu echire osuro na enuna ebe ma yehun krisu Ni inkuni mdiye ae won finshi api mahini yinu. At the time of the millennial kingdom, believers become God's ruler and inherit the reign from God with which they rule this world on earth. Wa infinshi api mahini yini bilimunu, e jidi fuwa beye o nyanko ponsu di fuwa, na wubenya ahini yinu efri o nyanko ponho, na wutimi bedi ewa asasi iso. Let us read Revelation chapter 5 verse 10. Revelation chapter 5 verse 10. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Amen. Amen.